13 Days of Preparation for the Consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary Day 7 In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Litany of the Immaculate Heart Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Ghost, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, Favorite Daughter of God the Father. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, Mother of God the Son. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, Spouse of the Holy Ghost. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, Redeemed, in a sublime manner by the merits of thy Son. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, Mother and Model of the Church. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, excellent exemplar in faith and charity. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, who conceived the word of God in thy heart before thou didst in thy womb. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, who gave precious blood to the Son of God in his human nature. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, Conceived free of original sin. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, who embraced God's saving will with a full heart, impeded by no sin. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, whose sweet soul a sword pierced beneath the cross. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, given to us as mother by Jesus, as he hung dying on the cross. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, who accepted us as sons as those stood beneath the cross. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, all pure and holy. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, exalted by divine grace above all angels and men. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, Mediatrix of Grace. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O Immaculate Heart of Mary, burning with love for all thy children upon earth, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Show to our Heavenly Father the wound in the heart of thy Son, and at the same time offer again the sword that pierced thy sorrowful and immaculate heart, as thou suffered by compassion with thy divine Son, for the redemption of the world. By thy intercession, through the merits of Jesus Christ, bring us to salvation. Amen. Grant me that I may praise you, most blessed Virgin. Grant that I may praise you with all my strength. Grant that I may live and work and suffer for you, for you alone, that I may be consumed and die for you. Grant that I may contribute to your greater and more extensive glorification. Grant that I may pay you such homage as no one has yet paid you. Grant that others may surpass me in their zeal for your glorification, and that I may then, as though in a noble competition, propagate devotion to you ever more deeply and swiftly and magnificently, as desired by him who exalted you so effably above all other creatures. Amen. 
Prayer for Generosity by St. Ignatius of Loyola Eternal Word, Only Begotten Son of God, Teach me true generosity. Teach me to serve you as you deserve, to give without counting the cost, to fight heedless of wounds, to labor without seeking rest, to sacrifice myself without thought of any reward. Save the knowledge that I have done your will. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee, and for all those who do not have recourse to thee, especially for the Freemasons, and for those who are commended to thy care. Jesus, Mary, I love you. Save souls. Immaculate Heart of Mary, be my salvation. Saint Maximilian Kolbe, pray for us. Day 7. Please make of me, of all my powers of soul and of my body, of my whole life, death, and eternity, whatever most pleases you. With these words, we surrender to her our whole being, all the faculties of the soul, namely the intellect, memory, and will, all the faculties of the body, all the senses, and each individually, our strengths, health, or infirmity. We give to her our entire life with all its features, be they pleasant, sad, or indifferent. To her we offer our death, at any time, in any place, and in any way it shall befall us. We even surrender to her all of our eternity. Indeed, we have the firm hope that only in heaven shall we belong to her in an incomparably more perfect fashion. Thus, we voice the wish and prayer that she grant that we will become more and more perfectly hers in every aspect. Explanation Hence, all of our consecrations are always rather an expression of our longing, our striving toward a state which we can never attain here on earth. All the more reason to fix our gaze on eternity, not only because our exile will come to an end then, because we will enter into the joy of the Lord, but also because at that point we will really, truly, forever and ever belong to her, fully owned by our mother, entirely childlike, our small hearts completely engulfed by the flames of her loving heart. Then we shall be allowed to completely absorb her love and mercy within ourselves and love our beloved Savior as she has loved him and shall love him forever. St. Maximilian Kolbe, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.